So hi there, today I'm going to show you this really cool trick. So basically it's to get 3D meshes of cities into things like Blender or 3D Studio Max into your scenes very, very quickly. So we're going to use OpenStreetMap to start with. So it's www.openstreetmap.org and then you just type in, you tell where you want it to go and you can press export. But I'm going to use this box to select an area to export. And I'm going to do this part of New York, just as an example. If you do too big an area, it won't export, it'll crash. So that's what you have to remember. So I've got this area here. So let's get some of the piers and the sea in, the river. <clears throat> then press export. Just wait a while. Let's do it again. Wait a while. And there you can see it's downloading. And you can't see actually, but it's map6.osm. So when that's downloaded, I'm going to go into another program. And this program is called OSM2 World Viewer. Yeah? And that's osm2world.org. And then here's the sign you can download it like so. So it's interesting stuff, but it. Um, does work very well. So I've downloaded the file now. So now I'm going to go to the OSM viewer. This is what it looks like when it opens up. It's just a Java application. It's not installed. Open OSM file, map6 OSM, and make sure we're in the right folder. Let it load for a bit. It's quite heavy on the information. And there you go. So it's got a little part of New York, got the skyscrapers, got those smaller buildings I'm not sure that is the buildings are smaller there but there you go and there's part of New York and then what we do we just export as an OBJ file and let's just call it this one NYC and then there's a bar at the top left that you can't see that's saying that it's exporting now then go to your 3d program of choice so in this case I'm using blender Go to File, Import, OBJ, which I <laughs> mine's blank, OBJ. Then go to C, where the folder is, and the folder is going to be Screencasts, OSM, and it's NYC, OBJ. Let's import it. Wait a while, because again, it's quite heavy on data. It's doing a bit of a loader there. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. It's not usually this slow, which is a bit annoying. Please. Mm. Okay. Sorry about that. Wait there. And it's just imported the model. And as you can see, the model is quite big and it's cutting out. So I'm going to select everything and scale it down. So we can see it without doing other stuff. So there's the model. We can add lights. So let's do a plane light using a plane as a light. Do that. Take it to cycles. Grab on the Z. Rotate on the X. And give that a material. So let's make it an emission, which I can never find. <laughs> okay, there's the emission, and we can ratchet up the strength, change the color to a white to yellow sun, and then let's go to rendered viewport shading and let's see what happens. Just wait a while. All right, that's looking nice. Let's take it up a wee bit. And there you go. And there's a nice scene already in Blender of New York City. Part of New York City. And as I say, if you want more of New York City or whatever city you're doing, you export parts of it if it's not going to 
you export the whole, fit it together, and there you go. So pretty cool. And then remember, we can change all these materials and colors to whatever we want. So that's that. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know. And please, if you want, sign up to my newsletter, which you can do on my website. And be sure to check out my art site, www.jamesabelart.com, for more stuff, tutorials, and also my own artwork. And I'm definitely going to use this technique in some new artwork I'm making. I'm doing something about cities and communications, using 3D printing and stuff like that. So actually, um, just before we leave, we could almost export this as a 3D print, so you can get favorite on your desktop. Okay, thanks very much, and speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.